Elbow Grease Productions in association with MichaelJacksonInsider.com presents Hi, this is Pearl Jr. with MichaelJacksonInsider.com bringing you yet another episode in the life and or death of Michael Joe Jackson. Well guys, we know last month in the month of May was the release of Michael's album, they call it Posthumous, hmm, I don't, <laughs> album called Escape. Now, we're wondering about a couple of little things. We all know about Peter Pan, P-Y-T, A-K-A, Peter Madani, A-K-A, Peter Madoni. Now, I want to talk about a couple of things that are very, very, very interesting. Okay, on another Facebook page that has the same name as Peter Madani, there is this picture of the insides of a torso, all smiling, and it says, hugs keep us alive. Well, look at the date of this picture. It is May 13th, two years ago. Now, before I move further, I'm gonna tell a story that I've only slightly mentioned in the past. Well, you know, Peter Pan and I have been friends since January 15th, 2012. And that's a wink, wink, nod, nod that's coming up soon. And since then, we've talked maybe a thousand hours. And I had been on him about, I deserve a hug. If Michael's around, Michael needs to hug me. I want a hug, I want a hug, I want a hug. Well, right around that time in May, um, an old lady in Macy's walks up to me. She has layers of clothes on and she has like somebody that looked like one of Michael's old bodyguards standing around and uh, just kind of, you know, talking like that. At least he looked like somebody like that. And she walks up to me and she has a wig on. She has glasses on and a hat and layers of clothes, like I said. And she says, hi. And I say, hi. She says, can I have a hug? And I was like, you want to hug me? And she was like, yes. I said, of course you can have a hug. And so I hugged her and I was in such a rush that I didn't think much of it. And then throughout our conversations with Peter Pan PYT, I kept saying, I deserve a hug, I deserve a hug. And he says, maybe you got a hug. <gasps> oh my God. Well guys, I didn't put this together until recently. You know that picture about hugs keep us alive? Well, I went back and I looked on my charge card and there was a charge on May 14th in Macy's the very next day. So I imagine if I'm thinking correctly, he posted that picture and then he went out to get the hug. But there's more to this story. Now, when you look on this Facebook page, you see five followers. One of them happens to be Notorious B.I.G., you know, Biggie Smalls, you know, the one with the album called Life After Death. Oh, my goodness. And then when you open up the page, there is Biggie and Tupac right next to each other. And we all know there was a faked death hoax on Tupac. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Well, I'm not done. Now, Peter Madoni. Now, people don't know of the history of the Peter Madani, which is an alias that Michael used to get prescriptions, and it dates back to the Ronald Reagan era. Well, I just discovered that it wasn't Reagan that invited Michael to the White House. It was Michael who made that terms and conditions because at the time, Nancy Reagan was doing no drunk driving campaign and they wanted to use the song Beat It. Well, Michael said, if you want to use my song, guess what? I want to come to the White House. <gasps> so, of course, we all know about Michael and the Reagans. Now, there is an article out there that Peter Pan, P-Y-T, a.k.a. Peter Madani, Peter Madoni, Bobby Anderson, Michael Jackson, whatever you want to call him, has sent to me, and it's about a party thrown by a Peter Madani, so nobody knew who this Peter Madani is. 
Now, apparently, when Peter Pan PYT had to change his Facebook last fall in 2013 to a name other than Peter Pan PYT, he told me that he had to show Facebook ID, driver's license, all kinds of birth certificate he even told me. And I said, there is no way you're gonna convince me that your real name is Peter Madani. And we giggled and we laughed. And guess what? This article says that Peter Madani is some kind of mysterious man. And this party raised all kinds of money, but the Peter Madani never really showed up. There was a strange guy walking around. So of course, I'm thinking it was Michael Jackson in disguise. Now let's put together Elvis Presley. Okay, Elvis Presley had an AKA and it was John Burroughs. And that name was given to him by Richard Nixon because he wanted to do an anti-drugs campaign. So he had ID and he had a passport under the name of John Burroughs. At least that's what the rumor is. Well, I believe that Michael studying all the famous people probably talked Ronald Reagan into giving him the passport, the birth certificate, the driver's license of a Peter Madani. Could I be right? I'm not quite sure, but this is what all the evidence is leading me to believe. Now, let's move on. The name Peter Madani is supposed to come from or derive from the name Peter Madonia, which is supposed to be some guy who was a COO of the Rockefeller Center. But now we have another name on Facebook called Peter Madoni. And with Peter Madoni, a lot of people have said, is that Peter Pan playing games and Peter Madoni and da 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 da? I don't know. But also, his other name is Eaton Alive 777. Well, here are some of his notes, which one of them I've never seen before, looking like Michael's writing, but other people can fake Michael's writing. But anyway, let's take a look. He has a matching Twitter page under the name of Eaton Alive 777. Well, his first tweet was January 26th, 2014. Huh, I'll get to that in a second. And his first tweet says, The Great Escape. I knew it. Oh my God, that is the name of the album. He is telling us he knows the name of Michael's next album. Now, let's get to the date, January 26th. That is the date of the big wink, wink, nod, nod. Remember Chris Tucker, Hot Chocolate, the Michael Jackson legend event where Justin Bieber sang a cappella, Rock and Robin. Tweet, 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 tweet. And that's where everything went down on the hot chocolate posting of Peter Pan PYT and match with Chris Tucker's spilling hot chocolate at Michael Jackson's house. Yeah, I remember the first time I went to Neverland and I was in his uh, study and I spilled some hot chocolate and I was so scared that I was never gonna get invited to Neverland again. So I was with Jermaine, I said, Jermaine, I, I bet I spilled some hot chocolate that I don't know, I don't know how I did that. He said, man, don't worry about that. I said, have fun, you're in Neverland. And then I, Michael came in and I told Michael, he said, what, what, what are you talking about? Chris, don't worry about that. Don't ride go-karts. Look yourself. <laughs> That's just hot chocolate. I got plenty of rooms in it. Well, guys, we have the matching of Peter Madani with the date of the release of the Michael Jackson album, May 13th. And we have Peter Madoni mentioning the name The Escape on January 26th. Oh, there's one more date, January 15th. Remember that date? It's the date that Peter Pan first called me and it is the date of the release of the Jackson 5 cartoon, which features the cartoon, A Rare Pearl, which comes from the album, A Rare Pearl. And guess where that date is? Well, it is the date with hugs keep us alive. And you look at the shares, you click on that, and there's the date, January 15th. Well, this is Pearl Jr. with MichaelJacksonInsider.com, and I have more to this story, and I will see you next time. Thousands believe Tupac did it. 
Millions believed Elvis did it, but did Michael Jackson really do it? E-movie book, Suicide, Did Michael Jackson Fake His Death to Save His Life? By author Pearl Jr. It's the most shocking true story of our lifetime. Order yours today. Go to MichaelJacksonSuicide.com. That's MichaelJacksonSuicide.com. <laughs> Another episode in the life and or death of Michael Joe Jackson. Well, guys, we know last month in the month of May was the release of Michael's album. They call it Posthumous. Hmm, I don't. <laughs> album called Escape. Now, the Insider.com presents... Hi, this is Pearl Jr. with MichaelJacksonInsider.com bringing you yet. We're wondering about a couple of little things. We all know about Peter Pan, PYT, aka Peter Madani, aka Peter Madoni. Now, I want to talk about a couple of things that are very, very, very interesting. Okay, on another Facebook page that has the same name as Peter Madani, there is this picture of the insides of a torso all smiling and it says hugs keep us alive well look at the date of this picture it is may 13th two years ago Elbow Grease Productions in association with Michael Jackson. 